My name is Rob Kroll. I'm a policy analyst with the Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission. Uh, I manage the climate change program and do a host of other things because when you work for tribal nations, you wear a lot of hats. The Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission is um, an inter-tribal natural resource agency. It uh, was created by and overseen by 11 Ojibwe tribes that signed treaties with the United States government back in the middle 1800s. All of those treaties contain language uh, that allowed the tribes to reserve hunting, fishing, and gathering rights uh, that were original to them um, in the territories that they ceded to the United States. Some of the things we're seeing is uh, high water levels on the Great Lakes impacting shorelines. We're seeing um, warm temperatures, lack of ice cover, um, warm, warm summers impacting things like manumen or wild rice, which is an important staple for the Ojibwe people. Manumen needs cold water and ice cover to germinate. Um, we're seeing impacts on tribal commercial fishing because a number of the fish species that they um, target are being impacted by warmer water temperatures. Um, and then tribal lands themselves on the lakes are being um, impacted by erosion. So the tool you're talking about is Debuggin Jigadeg Anishinaabe Ejitwad. It's a tribal climate adaptation menu. We designed the menu to integrate culture and language and history and indigenous science into climate adaptation. It's designed to be able to be adapted across the country or even around the world using indigenous culture, history, and language from other places as well. We've done a number of workshops where we've had a bunch of uh, folks from the tribes that we represent and other tribes in the area that have come out and used it to do adaptation planning. We also, before it was released, took it to tribal elders and tribal historic preservation officers and made sure that we had their approval before we released it. 